time for these guys, that's for sure. All right, pitch number one, Friday afternoon game is ball one. The lead off. See what he has in store here on 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss to wrap up the first. Three strikeouts for Mason Hick. The best combination of guys is that puts the most runs on the board. That might be a good combination to start the day. Down to the right field corner off the bat of Davis. He turned second. He stumbled. But will get to third with a leadoff triple. Davis is a guy, you put one in the corner, he's going to be trying to go for three. Almost stumbled around second base. But a fastball up in the zone, able to turn on it. Get some good backspin into that right field center gap. Take a look at the swing. And he knows it's three right out of the box. Got some really good wheels. Take a look around in second base. Oh, kept his feet. <laughs> I thought he was going down. Yeah, I did too. I thought we might. Uh... Con last Saturday. Trying to put one in play and get the first run in. We'll be able to do just that. Key over to make the play. Davis crosses 1-0 Vanderbilt. RBI for Rodriguez. I thought that was a pretty good pitch from Key. And a slider on the outside corner. And Rodriguez was able to just able to put a bat on it. Put something in play. Get his teammate Davis home. And Commodores get on the board. So Davis spun. And a base hit. Nope. Fielded. And a nice dig over at first by Justin Henry Malloy on the throw by Young to end the inning. Carter Young steps in, the freshman shortstop. First base side, nobody home, and Young reaches with a one out bunt single. We saw a really good bunt from Davis early on in the week. I think that one was. Davis does the same, and maybe with the same result, safe at first. That same spot, you saw D stay home. It was a close play at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, D did the Certainly they had last year. And a throw back to second. They got the runner picked off. The throw hits Young, and he will end up at third. That's one way to do it. That was a good pick there by Key is a no look pick. The throw got him. I couldn't tell if it got him in the cleat or the, the backside. Rodriguez fly ball to center should make it to nothing. McCarthy backs up on the deep fly. Young home easily. Rodriguez has delivered two runs. Commodore's in front by two. Rodriguez does his job again. Just gets something far in the outfield and he score young from third base. And Kevin, you mentioned without having the, the fireworks that they had last year trying to be able to, to make the over one with a strikeout. Out towards short and a diving play by Young to end the inning. Judged the ball just right and got to it up the middle. Three up, three down. Pulled left side, and Austin Martin will lead things off with an infield hit. Norton made a diving attempt. Martin is ups out, and then Rodriguez a sack fly. Last inning, Duvall shoots this one back toward the right center field gap. Cut off just short of the warning track. Martin held at third. Duvall has a double to give Vanderbilt two runners in scoring position to start the fourth. Very nice piece of hitting by Duvall. There's a change up in the outside corner. That key, unfortunately, leaves it up in the zone. Duvall really takes advantage of it. The right center field gap. And Tim Corbin held up. Austin Martin coming around third. I thought he might, might send him, might try and push the in. Already down to nothing. Bases loaded, no out, jam. Base hit to right. We'll bring in at least one. Martin scores to make it 3 0. They hold up Duvall at third. An RBI single for Nolan. You know what? I don't think that was too bad of a pitch from Key. You just got to give Nolan a lot of credit. He went down and, and got that pitch. You can take a look at it here. 
Just a good piece of hitting. It did only score one run. The Commodore is able to continue to string some good at-bats together. The freshman no one ball, no strikes to Thomas. Towards short. Lynn Pystrip to second. They get one. Couldn't get the double play. Another run scores as Duvall crosses to make it 4-0. Thomas gets the RBI on the fielder's choice. Slow little bouncer to the left side, fielded by the third baseman. Reyes out, but Malloy scores. Commodores lead 5-0, three if crossed here in the fourth. And guess what? Another ground ball and another run. Second. Hit down the left field line. We'll get in and bring home another run. Thomas turns third and comes to the plate. It's another hit for Young and a double, an RBI to make it 6-0, Bandy. We talked about multiple times when Key gets in trouble, he leaves the ball up. There's another fastball up in the zone. Young does a really good job letting that thing travel, slaps it the other way. And actually, one of the few balls we've seen out of the infield. See him on his horse getting to second base, knocks another one in. Young with a double to go with the bunt single an inning ago. And slaps it down to third, should end the inning as no one throws across. No runs, no hits, one base runner, one left. Play here with two out in the fifth, tied of all. Double and scored last inning and has another hit and a solid single to right. Yeah, Key has not been working around any. Sent to right center, McCarthy. Not going to be able to get to it. Duvall turns third and comes to the plate. Here comes the relay throw. Cut off. They might have had a chance, but Duvall scores to make it 7-0. And an RBI double by Justin Henry Malloy. I think they 100% would have had Duvall. A good piece of hitting by Malloy. A fastball on the outside corner. Just a good extension. You see how it rode in the right center field gap, and you take a look at the, the relay throw and the reaction from Figueroa, the catcher, who wanted it to come there, jumping up and down. It is hard that it's outside the zone, it's up in the zone, but the last minute just drops in there. Hit to short, gonna be another quick inning for Hickman. Young wings it across, three up, three down. 11 strikeouts for Mason Hickman. He has thrown six shutout innings. Bottom of the sixth inning, very efficient. A rocket down the left field line and in play. Thomas will get to second. No trouble with a leadoff double in the sixth. So that ball left up again. He has a lot of success when it's down in the zone, but Thomas, another one of the young guys, sophomore, getting some more at bat, starting to swing the bat well. Andrew, you've noticed that throughout the day on the pitches of Vanderbilt's really been able to stay five RBIs, the first six games. Sends this one down the right field line. We'll bring in another run. Here comes Thomas to make it eight nothing Vanderbilt. A second RBI of the day for Young. So the pitch before Young was actually peeking to Norton, the third baseman, trying to see, hey, could I? Uh... And then after he peeks, he gets a fastball up in the zone. That will get down for a hit for Rodriguez. Young goes first and third, and with two outs, Vanderbilt has him at the corners. We got a pair of example of that. Austin Martin, we saw him come in as a freshman and play right away. Will it stay down or get down for a hit? And will it's a base hit that brings in Carter Young, and Vanderbilt adds to its lead. It's 9 nothing. 
An RBI for Martin, his second hit of the day. It wasn't a terrible pitch. A slider on the outside corner, but he got one of the best hitters in the country. He put it anywhere near that strike zone. He's going to put it in play, and that's just what he does. Commodore is now 13 hits on the night. Of 100. End of inning. That didn't take long. Hickman a three up, three down seventh as he strikes out Figueroa. What a performance. The junior from Hendersonville, Tennessee. A fastball third strike. Nine nothing Vanderbilt. We head for the stretch in the Music City. One, two on the way. Three games this week and three strikeouts for Vanderbilt. 27 scoreless innings turned in by Vanderbilt pitching. Seven by Mason Hickman today. McIlvain and Kaiser wrap it up. And Vanderbilt wins it 9 nothing over Illinois Chicago. Amazing pitching this week. Unbelievable. I mean, the last time the Commodores would have had three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back shutouts in a row, I mean, that was back in 2011. So that's amazing. Great job by the Commodores to respond from last weekend. They got it tomorrow with Kumar Rocker.